Hello, and thank you for joining me on this brief tutorial on how to install the Razor's Edge 7. After downloading and extracting the install files from blackball.com, double-click on your installation folder. Next, double-click on the setup.exe. Soon, you will be prompted with the install show wizard, and prerequisite programs will be installed if necessary. Click Install to continue. Click Next to continue the Razor's Edge installation. After reading the Blackballed Software License Agreement, you can choose to accept the terms in the License Agreement by clicking Next to continue the Razor's Edge installation. The Razor's Edge Install Shield Wizard will then prompt you to choose either a standalone or network install. Choose your selection by marking one of the radio icons, then click Next to continue the installation. You will then be prompted to choose the destination folder for the Razor's Edge program files. Choose Next to accept the defaults. You will also be prompted to choose an install location for the deployment package. Click Next to accept the defaults. You will then be given the option to allow users to select an installation folder or create a default for all client installations. Click Next to continue. At this point, the Installation Shield Wizard is ready to install the Razor's Edge program files. We can click back to review installation settings, click Cancel to exit the wizard, or click Install to begin installing the Razor's Edge. At this point, the Razor's Edge has installed successfully and you can click Finish to exit the wizard. You can now close the install folder and double click on the Razor's Edge icon that has appeared on your desktop. Once launched, the Razor's Edge will ask if you want to log into the sample database or migrate an existing database. After selecting your database instance, you'll be prompted with a username login screen. The default is supervisor, password, admin, all caps. If the database you are logging into has not been updated to the latest version of the Razor's Edge you have just installed, the system changes will require your database to be updated. Click yes to continue. If logging into the Razor's Edge version 7.91 or higher for the first time, you will be prompted to enter BBPS or Blackball Payment Services credentials. If you do not wish to sign up for BBPS, you can click No and choose to truncate credit card information. This means that all but the last four digits of the credit card will be removed from the database. If you do choose to sign up for BBPS, your credit cards will then be stored on our encrypted servers. You can sign up for BBPS by going to bbps.blackballed.com. BBPS is a free service that is included in your maintenance. After choosing to either no, just truncate all credit card information, or yes, store my credit card information in the Blackballed payment service, click OK to continue. The database will then be converted to the version of the Razor's Edge that you are logging into and the Razor's Edge welcome screen will appear. You have now successfully installed the Razor's Edge. This concludes the brief tutorial on how to install the Razor's Edge 7. I hope that you found it helpful and if so, please feel free to share it with colleagues.